marsh hens in South Carolina. This is one of the real classic low country hunts here. It's something we haven't done down here. I haven't done down here in probably 25 years, so I'm looking forward to watching the kids get into it. What's your name? Luke All right, nice to meet you as well. This is Captain Jess. MVP. Captain Jeff. Jeff, Steve Lamboy. How are you doing, sir? The classic low country hunt for marsh hens is best done at high tide. With a gunner in the front of the boat and someone pulling in the back, the team puts on a saltwater spot and stalk to get into range. A quick flush then requires a quick shot, providing a unique and classic wing shooting experience you can only find along the eastern shore. What's going on today is we're introducing Luca Francesco Lamboy to You're the, the same middle, the, No, that's uh, Luca Francesco to the fine art of marsh hen shooting. So neither one of us have experienced this. Uh, Chris Dorsey's been so kind as to organize this wonderful trip. It's a real treat and privilege to be out in this fantastic environment. Is that one? All right, we ready? I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna hit it. You ready? Yeah. Get ready. Look. Shoot. Nice shot. I think you got him. Okay. Gun open. New shell. Luca, you shoot like you're hungry. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Nicely done, Luke, huh? Look at the plumage, too. You could tie a few flies with these, right? Yeah. The first, Luca. Bravo. All right, so there's, there's bird number one. Rail hunting is one of the oldest sporting pursuits in America, even though many modern hunters have never heard of it. In the 19th century, hunters pushed after rail birds in wooden canoes and skiffs from Maine all the way to Florida. The sport combines the beauty of flats fishing, the excitement of upland hunting, with a dash of sporting history. Truly a sporting classic. Um, we're shooting 28 gauges and it's not a difficult shot at all, so uh, hopefully no one misses because we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> you can hear him. Nice. All right, you're up, I guess. Yeah, I can, I can do my loon call. Let's see if... Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> there goes one right there. Two, two. Nice. It's right there. Let's move in, move in. I got I can't miss after all the talking I was doing on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just been really cool to be in the low country and kind of seeing the captain push through the low Brussels and it's been unique for sure. But it's cool to be on the boat and ready to shoot. I'm just pretty cold. <laughs> this is very fun though. Coming out here, it's just, I don't think it's ever been this cold in South Carolina in a while. Let's shoot some birds. You see them right there? Look at them. Can you see them? I can't. See where that grass is moving? See it in my pole? Yeah. Just keep looking right there. Yeah. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. That was a lesson in conservation. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. <sighs> All right, Lukey. Oh, your shells are still in there. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, good vibes only on this side of the boat. When you get to be with your brothers, your family, everything's good. Definitely competitive as well. Whenever we get out on the shotguns and bird hunting, it's always about competition. There he goes, there he goes. Oh no. Oh, we both missed. Oh no. We're about to get slandered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's still fun. Yeah, I still enjoy being out here, just everyone. Being with Luke and being on the boat, it's hard to beat. Doesn't matter if you hit anything. <laughs> That's an understatement. Pain. 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 There are few gifts a parent can give their children that will reap the dividends as valuable as a love of the outdoors. Awesome. Just awesome. To be here with Connor and Luca and be on our first marsh hen hunt in the low country of South Carolina. Absolutely beautiful. I also just want to specify that I'm the best. You are the best shooter, are you? Okay. Absolutely.